encourage others to break it down, this idea of having a spiritual practice that's separate and apart from your day, to have an idea of God that's compartmentalized and, and somehow a part of your life or an aspect of your character, breaking free of that bondage and really knowing that your life and the way that you live is your practice. Who you are, what you do, what you think, and what you say is your religion. And all of it, the life that you live, is an expression of that relationship between you and that beloved, you and the divinity that is your nature, that gives you your awareness, that gives your ability to see and express love, who gives you the intelligence to understand and make sense of anything that the senses give to you and that the mind projects to you. And so it's in that embrace that we live. And the life we live is not an attempt to achieve or attempt to reach a goal or to, to go for a pinnacle. Our life is a response to a beautiful notion of love, a beautiful notion of being, of existing. And to see this experience as the highest ideal.